Hey, it's me. Um, today I'm gonna explain how to do the text along the path thing that was in the short video I uploaded like a while ago. So first what you want to do is find a clip that doesn't move much, like this one, you know, like nothing moves much. You want to go somewhere in the middle and extract frame to project. The name doesn't matter. And then you're gonna want to edit this. Um, if you um, set your thing right, it will open GIMP. Uh, else you can just open it in GIMP if you don't want to do it. Um, so first you're gonna need to make a path along where you want it to go. So like, I don't know. I'm not gonna make it very precise because So I just selected the path tool and then I just made it and you can adjust it, move the handles and whatever. Then you're gonna make a text. And you can change the font and the size and whatever you want. And just make it one line. Then uh, you're going to want to have the path uh, tab. So you go to add a tab and you go path. And you can see it, it's here. And then I'm going to right click on the text and do text along the path. And then you can see it's appeared here. And since I want it to move along the path, I'm going to make it numerous times. So, still selecting that one. And I'm going to add one tab here or more. It depends on how fast you want your text to move. Or you can just add spaces or whatever. And do the same thing. And do the same thing over and over. And you're going to have multiple paths. And I'll catch you at the end of this. And this is enough. I am back. That's enough work for now. So I have all of my paths. So like this one I don't care about, the first one. And I have all of these and I'm gonna want to make one layer for all of these. So you can do new you need it to be transparent and just yeah, and then you duplicate it. Um I don't know, a lot of times. Twenty three but I don't wanna count. So this one I can hide. And so I'm gonna go on this, the first one. Go on the right, so the first path here. Um, and then I'm gonna use the tool path here, select it, and do fill path and fill. I think that looks good. Yeah, good enough. And second one, okay, I'm gonna just make two so that I can select it. Okay, and then I do fill path and new one and new one and fill. And we are done. So now if I hide all of them, okay, so we can see all of this awful thing. But if I only show the layers one by one, I should be able to have my text moving. So I've been told there was a plugin, but I haven't installed it to export. Um, <laughs> layers one by one but you're gonna want to export every single layer alone without the background like just this one and then then this one so let's do this oh my god so the first one you can export on the old one and then you need to choose a new name 
I'm sorry, this is so long. Okay, all done. And now, well, what I did on my computer is that if you go into settings and configure Cloud on Live, here it's two seconds. Right now, I'm gonna want only one second because the text I want text to move quite fast, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try with one. And when I'm gonna import the, the images, um, well, so I'm gonna import with only one second each uh, by default. And so if I take them all and then I move them here, I'm just gonna reduce this one, which was already under. The text is gonna move along the path. Um, so I don't know if I want one or two, two frames. Um, maybe two. So, I mean, I could import an image sequence, but I don't want to make a new folder for it, so I'm just doing it this way. I don't know, I'm just lazy, I guess. This one is good, and I'm just gonna make this a bit slower. By the way, I'm not using um, the last version of Canon Live because I don't like it. Um, <laughs> I can tell you more about it if you want, but I, I don't really like it. I've tried it, and so many things annoy me though. So, yeah, I'm still using 18.12. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Yay! I hope you like it. Um, please comment and share and do tell me what you think and everything. Um, yeah, bye bye.